Hi, this is your geology instructor, and um, as part of this course, we're going to do some various exercises. And rather than have you print those exercises out and complete them on paper, uh, we're going to save a few trees by instead having you plot in PowerPoint. And in this case, um, or as a first example, we're going to plot some data that's similar to uh, our first uh, <clears throat> our first exercise and so we have a table of data here that I'm circling and we're going to plot uh, that data on this chart and the way we're going to do that is we're going to focus in this case on two columns stage which is uh, basically giving you an idea of how much water is in a, in a river channel and probability this is the um, odds of uh, these particular floods occurring in, in uh, in a given year. And so to plot those, we have nine different uh, years of data. We have nine different points. So we're just going to go through <clears throat> and grab the data point for uh, each of those particular years and put them in the correct place on the, uh, uh, on the graph paper. So let's start with the first one. We'll grab it and it has a probability of 30% and a stage of 21%. So we're going to come up here, and 21 is right about there. For 2004, 70% chance, and so a stage of 15, that puts it right about here. And I'll just continue along doing each of these. 80 and Sixty and seventeen point five and then twenty six. Forty and 20 20 and 24 and in this case the point wouldn't quite go where I wanted it if you're on a Mac you can hold down control and use the arrow keys to finally adjust where the point goes I'm sure you can do the same thing in Windows um, although I'm not sure exactly what the command is 90 and 11 and finally probability of 50 percent and a stage of 19 and I need to adjust it a little again there we go well in exercises like this we're going to need to draw a uh, to make a trend line that goes through the data so we can read various things off the chart and uh, the way that we're going to do that we have this red line in the bottom. If you just click on that once, click on the, the red line, it's going to grab one end of it, bring it over here, grab the other end, bring it over here, and try and get a line that, that best represents all of the data. And this is a trend line. Now we could do all of this in a graphing program. and uh, that would require you to learn whatever graphing program we chose and it would be much more of a hassle. So instead we're going to use this method um, in a, a subsequent presentation I'll show you how to interpret this trend line and whatnot but really this is just to show you how, how to plot and how we're going to um, for the exercises that we'll, we'll do in class. So that's it. If you have any questions of course you're always welcome to, to email me.